Stop number seven of Sunoco K&N Bush Series comes to Texas for the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. 20 laps right here. Let's take a look at our points before we go into finding out who is going to be our starting grid. Jeremy Doobie leads the points with his win at South Boston by three points over Ken Johnson and four points over Adam Chambers and 17 points over the season opening winner Ed Gardner. Then is Randy Carpenter, the highest rookie, rounding at the top five. Then six through ten, there's a tie for six with our Darlington winner Andrew Baranda and Danny Wells. And then Tim Fralick, our Bristol winner Spencer Madden, and Jared Darling will round out the top ten. Tim is our only non-rookie in the six through ten field. So with that said, let's go into our starting grid here. At Texas and on the pole, qualifying at 190.665 miles an hour is the number 94, Sunoco, Olds of Will Raymond. And on the outside of having her best start this season, the number 83, Purex Ford of Morgan Carpenter. Row number two will be the number 54, Chevrolet of Hunter Gantz. And on the outside will be the number 20, Crown Olds of Emilio Navarrete. Row number three will be the 01 Special Days in Ford of Lyndon Wright. And on the outside will be the number 17 Tide Chevy of Cody Lamas. Row number four will be the number seven Hooters Ford of Randy Carpenter. And on the outside will be the double zero O's of Dizanella Maminovich. And in row number five will be our winner at Las Vegas, Jack Richardson, the number 24 DuPont Chevy. And Jake Baskinger in the number 99 Armor Foods. Food Lion, Old Chevrolet. Row number six will consist of Mike McMurray, the winner at Rockingham, and Spencer Manor, winner at Bristol. Row seven will be Justin Perry and Austin M. Row eight will be Callum Wales and Andrew Boat, the third. Row nine will be Christina Cowan and Ken Johnson. Row ten will be Jared Darling and Ricky James. Row eleven will consist of Jordan, the Hitman Hester, and Tim Gardner. That's Matt McCormick and Jeremy Doobie, our points leader. Alex Lascano and Danny Wells will follow them. Barney Ward and John Westbrook. Dunn Laprad and Ed Gardner, our Daytona winner. Adam Chambers and Zed Weinstein. Ann Batson, Tim Fralick, Bill Raymond, Joshua Perry, Luke Martin and Andrew Baranda, Mike Becker, and Ricky Elliott Jr. and rounding out the field will be Dominic Jarvis and Dougie Shears in the number 29. So that's your starting grid here at Texas, the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300 of the Sunoco Bus Series. Now here's the command. Drivers, start your engines. And it is time. Last time we were here, the winner was Christina Cowan. So ironically, she will try her luck to try to repeat. Everybody else would like to win it as well. Christina actually won her two events right here for the season. One of them was right here. The other one was our first trip to Nashville where she actually got into the Bush All-Stars at this event. As opposed to at that event where you actually got another racer entered because at that time we had the if you finished if you already won then whoever finished second would get the spot this is race we are not this season we're not gonna do that per se so Morgan Carpenter the Carpenter family racing has been doing really well at this race very good qualifying for both of them. Morgan on the outside, Randy on the inside of row number four. Let's see if they'll have their good fortune. So the green flag about to wave as they come on down to the stripe. And we are away. Will Raymond early on with the jump on things. Hunter Gantz going right to second. Lyndon Wright slipping in the third. Here 
comes Hunter. The Mannheim Auctions Lumina. Sponsored by Skull. Takes the number one spot. Lyndon Wright will take the number two spot with the help of Randy Carpenter. And now we'll take for the number one spot is Lyndon Wright, Morgan Carpenter, uh, Randy Carpenter actually. Morgan's right behind Will Raymond. Then Jack Richards and Mike Murray, a couple of our previous winners. As they go three wide, oh, almost. Lyndon Wright was wise enough to go on the inside and cut off Randy Carpenter, but not enough to cut off the number 24 of Jack Richards. We'll still lead that lap, though. Mike McMurray following suit. Same with the number 47 of Justin Perry. Alan Wales right behind. Jared Darling, who's right now 10th in the points, right there with the number 66. Jared Darling, no, excuse me, Josh, Justin Perry, going to take the number one spot away from Mike McMurray, but Callum Wales is going to poise a challenge. Callum will take the number one spot. Here comes the hitman, Jordan Hetzer, starting to move up with the help of Matt McCormick. But the hitman, Jordan Hetzer, winner of Darlington last season, is going to go for the number one spot. Here comes Mick, Mike, Matt McCormick. The help of Alex was gone on the number 31. Barney Ward starting to move up. Don Lapras starting to move up. Adam Chambers and Batson. They get tight behind. Mike Becker. And it is still... Al Sliscano getting the number one spot, but now here comes Barney Ward, the Keystone Beer Lumina, Keystone Beer Ford, excuse me. There's only six laps in. And Barney Ward leads. Here comes Adam Chambers, who wants that points lead back. Losing it to Jeremy Doobie in our last race in Bristol. And Batson right behind from the car that was driven by Keith Batson. Husband in season one. And now behind the wheel, right behind, is Bill Raymond, the number 44. Penrose snacks holds. Bats is going to go for the number one spot. Does just that. Here comes Luke Martin, who did not qualify at Bristol. Now trying to make a move. Mike Becker right there. Danny Wells is right there. And it is Bill Raymond who's going to take the number one spot. But not if Luke Martin has anything to say about that. And Mike Becker, too. And it is Luke Martin leading. Mike Becker right there. Here comes Danny Wells, Andrew Baranda, Dominic Jarvis. Oh, Luke still leading. Danny Wells goes to two, Baranda goes to three. He's still not yet the halfway point. Here comes Danny Wells. The Fulchers, Lumina number 25, Andrew Baranda, our Darlington winner, mounting a charge. Dominic Jarvis, Dougie Shears coming in too. Tim Fralick. Then it's Jake Bastinger, but Baranda's got the lead. Jarvis is going to get second, so it's Ford and a bunch of Pontiacs. And now Jarvis is going to lead the Pontiac train to pass the McDonald's Ford. And it will be now Jarvis leading Dougie Shears coming to the inside with Tim Fralick right behind. Like he almost got a little congestive up there with Ann Batson, but we got ourselves a great battle going on for the lead coming on. Here comes Tim Fralick to the inside of Dougie Shears, and Ricky Elliott Jr. now coming in with the Nestle's Crunch Pontiac. And it is Tim Fralick leading now as we are at the halfway point. Ten down, ten to go. It gets congested. It's going to get wild at any given moment. Here comes now the number 34, Hungry Jack Buick of Joshua Johnson. Joshua Perry, excuse me. The Perrys, Joshua and Justin, one, two punch there in second and third, and here comes Ed Gardner, the winner at Daytona. 
Joshua Perry will take the lead. Here comes Jeremy Newby, the points leader, mounting the charge. Right behind is the 0-9 of John Westbrook and Zed Weinstein. And here comes your winner at Daytona, Ed Gardner, Jeremy Doobie, the winner at South Boston, the points leader going also right all out for it. John Westbrook, Zed Weinstein, Austin M. Making a move. Doobie's going to lead that lap, but here comes John Westbrook. Eight to go. Westbrook to the inside with Zed Weinstein right behind. Here comes Ricky James now in the number 35 Amico Lumina. Ken Johnson too trying to make a move. Morgan Carpenter now starting to mount back up the field. Weinstein's got the number one spot. This may be one of those races where don't pencil in your winner yet. Weinstein's leading. But that doesn't mean it's going to be a gimme because here comes Ricky James and Ken Johnson. Johnson to the inside. Morgan Carpenter, Tim Gardner, Dizanella Maminovich. Here comes Ken Johnson with the help of Morgan Carpenter. Johnson gets the number one spot now. Six laps to go as they come on by. It will be six laps to go for Ken Johnson leading. Here comes Morgan Carpenter, Tim Gardner. Dizanella Maminovich, Lyndon Wright, not that's Will Raymond, but Morgan Carpenter is leading. And look who's right behind Randy Carpenter. That is Christina Cowan, the winner of this race season one. But here comes Tim Gardner. The Gardner family's done very well here too. Johnny Gardner, Tim's brother, won the Sunoco Cup Series race here in season one. And here comes Dizanella Maminovich to double zero. Five laps to go now as they head down the back straightaway. Dizanella. Will Raymond. Here comes Christina Cowan, who's trying to repeat here. Spencer Madden, Jack Richards, both of which have already won. Mike McMurray as well. And it is still Will Raymond, our pole sitter, leading. Now, with four to go, here comes Christina. The number 89, Ivan Rude Pontiac, now making a move. She won here in season one. And she's got a bunch of previous winners right behind. Jack Richards. Spencer Madden, Mag Mike McMurray, Hunter Gons, who is not a previous winner now making a move. Here comes also Cody Lamas, but it's Jack Richards leading with three to go. Hunter Gons, Spencer Madden, Madden going to the inside to take the number one spot. Here comes Hunter, Callum Wales now making a move. getting enough in that one, but now he'll have enough to pass Spencer. Two laps to go, anybody's race. Cody Lamas now making a move. Callum Wales, Ricky, Ricky Elliott Jr., excuse me. Here comes Cody. Here comes Callum. Here comes Ricky, all of which, and Alex Loscana. Lyndon Wright, the 0-1 Ford. I saw some smoke, but that's nothing, apparently. And this time by, it'll be the white flag. Callum Wales so far leads it, but don't pencil him the winner yet. Because here comes Alex Lascano. Jared Darling, Lyndon Wright. John Laprad. And now it's Lascano leading. As they come out of turn three and four, here comes Lyndon Wright, the Ford, the special days in Ford. Jared Darling's going to be the last challenge for Lyndon Wright. Not going to happen. Lyndon Wright's going to win the O'Reilly Auto Parts 300. Jared Darling will finish second. Alex Lascano will finish third. Don Laprad and Ann Batson will round out the top five. Then it will be followed by Callum Wales. Danny, well, Danny Wells. Ricky Elliott Jr., Jack Richards, and Emilio Navarrete, your top ten. Then it will be followed by Spencer Madden, Cody Lamas, Matt McCormick, Christina Cowan, Jake Baskinger, Mike McMurray, Barney Ward, Ricky, Randy Carpenter, Hunter Gonsed Weinstein, Tim Gardner, 
John Westbrook, Dizanella Maminovich, Randy Carpenter, Ken Johnson, Mike Becker, Luke Martin, Ricky James, Bill Raymond, Adam Chambers, Will Raymond, Andrew Baranda, Ed Gardner, Joshua Perry, Justin Perry, Dominic Jarvis, Andrew Boat III, Dougie Shears, Austin M., Tim Fralick, Jordan Hetzer, and there's Justin Joshua Perry and Jeremy Doobie, our points leader, finishing dead last in a great race here at Texas. Your winner goes to Lyndon Wright in the final lap. What a race. Let's take a look at the points after that one. Ken Johnson gets the points lead. Adam Chambers will move up to second. Ed Gardner will move up to third. Danny Wells will move up to fourth. Jeremy Doobie with that dead last finish rounds out the top five. Goes from first to fifth. Randy Carpenter, Jared Darling, Spencer Madden, Emilio Navarrete, and Andrew Baranda will round out the top ten. Then it will be Hunter Gantz, Ann Batson, Jack Richards, Zed Weinstein, Tim Freilich, Lyndon Wright moving up to 16th, Dunn Laprad, Matt McCormick, Dominic Jarvis, Bill Raymond, Dougie Shears, Mike McMurray, Ricky James, Dizanella Minovich, Mike Becker, Andrew Boat III, Will Raymond, John Westbrook, Alex Lascano, Jake Baskinger, Callum Wales, Morgan Carpenter, Ricky Elliott Jr., Austin M., Cody Lamas, Barney Ward, Luke Martin, Joshua Perry, Justin Perry, Tim Gardner, Jordan Hetzer, and Christina Cowan will tail the field. Not a very good year for Christina. But our next race for the Sunoco Bus Series, Talladega. We're going to go much faster and much more crazier. The Aaron's 312. That's coming up.